Hi, welcome to a Sippy Bee Short. My name is Richard. I'm your guide here at Sippy Bee. Today we're going to be talking about wine openers and discussing which one might be the best for you. Really, the best one for you is the one that you know how to use the best. But there are some things that we can talk about why one or another might be better in certain situations. So I have a selection of wine openers here. We have a lot of kind of classic waiters corkscrews and then a few variations and unusual models here. Let me talk about mostly the waiter's corkscrew, which is kind of the most functional and most useful out of all of them. It's very compact, it's easy to carry around, it has all the tools that you need, right? But let's talk about maybe why not to use some of the other ones. I'm sure many of you have this one at home, kind of a classic model, right? sometimes called the Charles de Gaulle opener. Vive la France, vive la France. Well, I know it looks very simple to use, but actually it's got a few little problems to it that can make it kind of sticky opening the bottles. Notice the screw here is not hollow, it's filled in. So this kind of just pokes the cork and a lot of times it doesn't really grab it. You look at this very good waiter's corkscrew here, you can see that it's hollow in the center and it really screws in and grabs the cork, making it much easier to pull out, especially if it's a little bit of a sticky cork there. So this wine opener also tends to be set for a very limited range in sizes of corks, so it might not get out those really long corks so easily or the very short corks. So not on my big recommended list. Then we have kind of the opposite, this lever corkscrew, which can come mounted on a table too. A lot of bars have it. This is really great if you have to open a lot of bottles because you just simply clamp the bottle and pull it out and it pulls the cork right out. Right? Uh, but the problem with this, of course, is you can't carry this around your packet and it's kind of heavy. But very handy if you have a lot of bottles, a lot of bottles. Then there's the Asso corkscrew. And I used to say, ah, so what? But actually it is handy in certain conditions. If you have a really old bottle that maybe the cork is a little welded into the bottle, this kind of eases into the bottle and kind of pulls it out. I usually use this as a secondary corkscrew when the first corkscrew with a spiral fails. And then there are other variations. This is a screw pull, not too large, very easy to use. The idea of this is that you just start screwing with the handle and then it just pulls the cork right out. Pretty handy to use, pretty easy, and works with various size corks. It has a very small spiral, very thin, this one's Teflon coated, very nice, and that pokes through the cork with just a small hole so it's not likely to throw some cork into the bottle there. Then there are the waiter's corkscrews, the waiter's corkscrews, and this is what's used by most professionals. There are lots of different models of them and some have better or lesser features. Some things you want to look for when buying a waiter's corkscrew. First, you want to look at the knife because this we use to pull the capsule off, to kind of uh, tear it off the bottle. And they can be very small, they can be very large. I recommend a larger one. Make sure it's very sturdy. So this one's kind of medium, flat. This one here has a very nice large knife on it so we can easily cut the capsule and pull it off. Some of them have embarrassingly small little knives on it. This one is more like a toenail there. I could barely cut the capsule off with that. So not recommended, not recommended. Then you want to look at the legs that are providing the tension, the torque, to pull open the bottle. You want to make sure the leg is very sturdy. You want to make sure the spiral, the screw, is very sturdy also. Look down and make sure that it has a clear, clean, hollow center there. So again, it can grab onto the cork very well. This one here is a model that has a little bit of a knee here, you notice. It has two legs on a spring loading. This one I was showing you before just has one leg which the two-leg one can help you open larger corks, larger corks, because first you start at the knee here, and then you finish pulling up at the ankle here. This one is a variation where it just has a joint here at the knee. So you'd start here at the knee joint and finish off here 
at the ankle. And here we have one with the same kind of idea with no joint. You'd start here and finish the cork off here. Right? These can be very, very helpful. It's, I'll say, rather new style. You know, you, most of them used to be just a one leg style. So, net net, what I would recommend a sturdy corkscrew, one that all of the pieces feel like they're very solid. Looking for a spiral down the center of the grabber, in the center of the screw, and then a nice knife on it to cut the foil, and then you have an all-in-one. There are other kinds too. Here is a pressurized one which pumps pressure into the bottom. Not my favorite problems happen with this, believe me. So, your job first is to find a corkscrew that works for you, one that feels good, one that you have some uh, ability to use that seems successful for you. And then the next thing is to figure out how to open the bottle. And that'll be in our next short. So that's my little primer about wine openers. Hope you find one that you like. Next, we'll be talking about how to open the bottle with the wine openers. So I'll see you soon for that, and hopefully in one of our guided tours with our Sippy Bee wine kits. See you soon.